everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be watching the fourth episode of Peacemaker. So last episode we found out that the butterflies are literally butterflies yeah. um, and I'm still assuming that they're like some sort of maybe alien yeah. or something. It looks like that was the ship from two episodes Oh and they're ago, little yeah. so yeah. they would be in the little tiny baby ship. See that's what Aww. I was thinking. Yeah so I feel like you know before that episode that's where my mind was going and obviously this confirmed it in my opinion but we also saw that these butterflies are all around the world. It looks like most predominantly in America, I have to think that they knew this already and that they are going to be using some sort of contingency to like maybe kill them all in mass. But hopefully that doesn't involve killing all the people they've inhabited as well. Um, that was like my big question in the last episode when they were taking out the family was could these butterflies be extracted without having to take them out? <laughs> His toe? Motherfucker cut half my pinky toe off. It's the most important toe there is. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah, it is. You can't walk without it. You can walk just fine without a pinky toe. It's the other mm. one. The big one. No, it's not. I'm telling you. Maybe you just don't need either of <laughs> them. You can't walk if you lose your metatarsal. That's like the knuckle of the pinky toe, but if you just lose your pinky, oh. it's fine. The knuckle. Oh, they took it. Oh, he just like fell. What are you going to do about him? Hey, no! <laughs> Is about to execute him? <laughs> chode. Is that how you spell chode? I think so. I don't regularly see that <laughs> word written down, so... I don't like that word, it sounds weird. Mm -hmm. You okay to drive now? Yeah. Pop out on a day bio. I like how vigilante is literally just a part of it now. Mind. Like, that's it. <laughs> Peacemaker in my office. You sure your head is in this? What? You choked last night. Are you kidding me? Maybe that wouldn't have happened if you put a goddamn dove a piece. <laughs> One of the most important things about killing someone to me is a fucking dove a piece on the weapon. You also told me to kill kids. You didn't say why. Yeah, okay, one was homely. That didn't make it better, it made it worse. No. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for it. <laughs> don't call it in! Right now, the world needs a son of a bitch, and you're the only one I got. You got vigilante? Well, I guess him now, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get some rest, come back tonight. We'll explain the whole thing. Okay. What is she thinking? It's because they killed Twizzlers? someone. Yeah, that's a weird place to put Twizzlers, just out in the open air. I've never killed anyone before. You said. You still haven't. I've never shot anyone. I've never shot at anyone. Hell, I'm a pescatarian. <laughs> <laughs> so you're okay with making that poor bastard's last minute of life the worst suffering imaginable because you're too much of a coward to put him out of his misery. But you won't eat a fucking fish. Got it. Doesn't that mean she that does you eat you fish? only eat the fish? Yeah. You just gonna keep them here? What else are we supposed to do with them? I don't know. A hospital? What? So we can narc? <laughs> God, there's so many secrets. Yeah, that's what black ops is, dude. <laughs> Welcome to the U.S. government. <laughs> don't worry about hardcore. She doesn't really like anybody. Yeah, I just gotta show her and learn that I got what it takes. I guess. Well, I got what it takes. Stomped his ass. <laughs> He's proud of himself. <laughs> I mean, you did hit him with a truck, but and then hit him while he was down. <laughs> hey, swing by my dad's in the way. He's got a helmet. I think I can use it. Maybe he was from. Honestly, I yeah. don't know. Tell us in the comments. Was. I think it was. Yeah. I was kind of po. Like you didn't care about the fact that I was in, you know, agonizing pain. Okay. Yeah, but then I realized you were you were just supporting me and helping me to become the best me that I could be. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's such a simp for him. Yeah. Having half his toe cut off. You seem to be walking okay. Well, I'll probably never walk as good again. <laughs> It'll <laughs> heal. Maybe. <laughs> I've never had a friend quite like you. It just seems like under the surface you're kind of angry about it. I'm mm -hmm. not. Seems like you are. Well, I'm not at all, dude. Okay, the way you said dude right there. What? Seems miffed. So, like I always say. You know what? Oh my gosh, this is literally us. <laughs> like the inflection. 
I would have been real guilty. <laughs> you see that? that <laughs> no, it wasn't. That's it sass. Was that I passive was, aggressiveness. I was with you. Me. <laughs> That's so me. Your father have an upside down American flag on his. <laughs> I don't know, don't that's a deep state thing. No, it means America in distress. Your dad left your mom for another dude. Hey. He did? <laughs> yeah, and they're deeply in love. I doubt it. You know, I think he's just pretending to be gay to get away from you. <laughs> what the fuck? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I don't know. I thought we were talking about dads. Where's Eagly? Yeah, we haven't seen him. Oh, hey, it's you. As zookeepers report... Charlie, the silverback gorilla, is missing. Harambe. I know. It's going to be Harambe part two. Things haven't been the same since Harambe. None of this shit makes sense. <laughs> like, how is it that big? How is there no, like... Like, how did you dig that far under mm -hmm. people's houses without it collapsing? What other stuff does he have in here? <laughs> She's taking them all? <laughs> What's he hearing? Oh, what the? F is this him? What is that? Like the dad's outfit? A duck in a human costume? The sizes are completely incompatible. I guess that's the whole point of the phrase. That and they could give two shits about their best friend's pinky toe. Here, here. <laughs> you don't belong here. Don't push me. It all comes back to the pinky toe. You just like took every single helmet. <laughs> you also kind of inserted yourself into the mission, so yeah. there's that. You said you were a superhero like Batman. Do you have a coterie of supervillains? No, he doesn't. So maybe you're not a superhero. He after fights all. butterflies. <laughs> you want to know why I don't have a coterie of supervillains? Why? My coterie of supervillains is six feet fucking under. <laughs> there you see, Batman doesn't kill people. Because he's a <laughs> pussy. <laughs> he's a jackass. Who wrestles with murderers dressed like clowns and throws them in prison <laughs> so they can break out of prison and then murder more people. He's like, no half measures with me. It's indirectly murdered by being too much of a candy ass not to kill <laughs> these fools who clearly need to be smoked once and for all, you wrinkly, sharp, hay looking, dementia infested fuck. Oh shit. Just trying to make conversation. <laughs> fuck it. With an attitude like that, you're definitely a supervillain. You're going to end up in jail with your father soon enough. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, here's the, how he's going to find, find out. out. Oh, my gosh. I like, couldn't <laughs> talk. Maybe just, like, leave your dad in prison. Yeah. Just, you know, let that, let that be. The only way to get the cops off our tail was to frame my dad for what I did? It wasn't the plan. It was an impulsive decision. But nobody told him. Jesus, you ever have a fucking dad? I did. I wasn't created in a petri dish. No, my dad's in jail. I'm oh, he's gonna break so, him out. I probably. don't think that's wise. Don't do that. Oh, fuck you, man. You people only fucking care about yourselves anyway. His dad and his relationship is very interesting. Like you can tell, there's a lot there. Mm -hmm. Like obviously he doesn't like his dad, but mm -hmm. like he probably was. I don't know if groomed is the word, but like from a young age, you know. Mm -hmm. He's like desperate like to, for his um, like for approval. That, yeah, yeah, like that. Mm-hmm. It was such a stupid ass decision. <laughs> that was horrible. Like the Not to say that he doesn't thing. probably belong in jail, but, but to frame him for that. <laughs> well, just because like you're it's attaching you to like yeah. him and the mission and it's just stupid. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, man. I wasn't more compassionate about you being tortured and everything. <laughs> My picky toes aren't that important. Yeah, you were being weird about that. Yeah, I was. Sorry. Hey, do you want me to take you to the jail, see your dad? Yeah. Even though I know he's a racist. <laughs> and he has a cult now. Shouldn't you kill him then? No! I'm not gonna kill my dad. <laughs> Why not? Because I love him. Oh. <laughs> and also, you're just gonna kill my him dad and I both hate crime. It's the only thing we agree on, and he makes me stuff. Doesn't vigilante hate crime, too? My dad never made me anything. He was too busy off pretending to be gay just to get away from me. <laughs> me? <laughs> he trusts you most. I think he trusts hardcore the most. No, he wants to have sex with hardcore. <laughs> he said you were the only one he was sure wasn't a butterfly. Because he liked you. And he didn't talk about us seeing his father. That could screw us in a number of ways. I feel like before the end of this season, I feel like his dad's going to end up in that suit. Your lack of a resume made me hesitant to bring you onto this team. It's because my mom wiped it probably. insisted you were ready. Prove her right. Watch plot twist, he's the butterfly. <laughs> what if someone in the group's the butterfly? You know how crazy that would be? Mm. 
I don't, I don't think, think that it's so. out of the question, though. I but feel I don't like think it could him, be. him, though, because, like, why would they be actively wanting to... Actually, I don't know. I don't mm. know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe it's all misdirection. Maybe one can become a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that the butterfly just, like, goes you in know, you and be like, operates Whoop. you. Like, I feel like that butterfly, if they didn't kill it, it would have just went to another person. Oh. No. I thought he was about to give up. Oh, he's trying to oh. slip out. To collect himself. Hey, peacemaker. Fuck we, off, Adebayo. Oh! No. We know it, but that doesn't mean you should destroy what we're doing because of it. Was it Mern? No. Harcourt? No. <laughs> it was John. Motherfucker, how did he do it? He changed your car registration for your father's name and changed out your fingerprints for his. Why don't they just re-fingerprint? Well, they're a government bureaucracy. They can, but double-checking things isn't exactly protocol. <laughs> Freaking bureaucracy, please. But we all know what he's done to you. You don't know shit! We do. It's in your files, Chris. It's Chris now? How he's treated you your whole life? No. He thinks people with my color skin are second-class citizens. That's fucked up, okay? People change. And he's no. a guy inside. No. <laughs> Your dad is not a good man. Not to the world and especially not to you. He's still family. Chris. Mm -hmm. Well, he has to do what he has to do, I guess. He's going to find out for himself, you. though, eventually. <laughs> Did you know? Oh, like... yeah. Yeah. There goes your uh, secret Ooh, identity. A fake voice. In his walk. Nope. <laughs> changed from what it was two seconds ago. I was about to cough. But yeah, this this is more my real voice. And you're limping because <laughs> you are you limping? Snowboarding accident, totally unrelated <laughs> in any way to Vigilante. Snow. I don't even know who Vigilante is. <laughs> who is he? Might even be a she. I have no way of knowing. Except the Vigilante's voice sounds like mine, according to you. Which makes me surmise, yeah, maybe it's a he. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, you don't matter. Oh, yeah. Fuck out of here. I ain't got no... You got a visitor. He is like the epitome of daddy issues. People I'm working with, they did their own thing. I... Switch your fingerprints for mine. I saw you come out of your mother's cooch. I should have slit your throat. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Fuck this guy. I never had any feelings for you. Not like your brother. Him, I fucking your brother. Brother? You know? You were just a blob of flesh I felt nothing for. You didn't know you had a brother. Oh my god, that's not a thing to say. Not a shower. <laughs> I don't mean like a dick. <laughs> like more as time goes on. An individual you don't like, and then you 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 learn to like. You're comparing yourself to a chode. <laughs> chode. I'm no rat, but the first chance I get, I'm spilling everything. Well, that that is kind of Opposite of what you just said. Exactly makes you a rat. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, just factually. Get the fuck out of my sight. Literally just like leave your dad in prison. You have all the helmets, you're good. He needs to make more friends so that he learns what like good relationships mm -hmm. are like. Aww. You think they'll arrest oh, peacemaker, peacemaker in there? Peacemaker. I hope not. I mean, y'all could have some pull to get him out, right? Somehow, some way. He's a good man, like you. You think I'm a good man? Yeah, I can tell. But his father? I say he's one of the worst. Well, vigilante kills people for friggin' uh, graffiti. <laughs> oh, I know. There is nothing to love inside of that man. And it kills me. Because I don't think Chris is ever going to be happy as long as his father's around. Are you trying oh. to tell... Oh my I gosh. Think he some way He's, he was she's kidding. trying to apply for him to kill him. Go away. Oh my gosh. I gotta go do something. No, he's like, I'm he's gonna so do it right easily now. influenced. Fuck. Watch him accidentally break him out or something. What do we do about your dad? Yeah. Just leave him. It'll be fine. I just didn't want you to get arrested while you were in there. Burn said I gotta keep eyes on Vigilante. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine, too. I don't hate your guts. I mean, I think you're the... the good kind of joke. Can we 
stop saying that word. <laughs> I hate that word. I think this was very stupid for her to like have him do as mm -hmm. well. They should have not even gotten involved this for any further with the dad. I know. Just like leave him there. He's already in jail. Honestly, the fact that he even got into jail was like a happy accident. Like, let's just not. What the fuck is he doing? Are you gonna try and do this in front of every single fucking cop? What are you doing? Like, is he gonna throw it through the window or something? What the heck? Why are you do is this part of your plan or? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I don't have to tell you that, motherfucker. What? Oh, he's, oh, trying, he's trying to be trying to put in jail. jail. Okay. He just got you're the trash? Honestly, you're a fucking idiot. I mean, he doesn't know that he has an army, but like. Yeah. Uh, you, picky toes aren't that important. You don't need it to walk or anything, but I've sustained an injury and it hurts, so. <laughs> Ow. He's such a dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's probably already out. That's an IV bag. Behind the door. He's small. There goes Judo Master. Oh shit. Hey, John. We are so incredibly fucked. I checked the restraints. They were tight. I don't know how the fuck he got loose. Where's he in the cabin? Probably gonna be oh, here he all here. He is. Who the fuck? Is he, 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 yeah, he got his chips. The he fucking New Orleans chips. ones. I think Cobra Kai just got out. <laughs> I feel like we should have called him Karate Kid. Yeah. Hey, I want to see that detective song. I've got some information about the case. Right. You would think that, like, being a rat would go against his, like, whole ideal. Mm -hmm. Hallway window. Oh, he landed that one. Why couldn't you do that a few nights ago when you were jumping from like freaking balcony to balcony? <laughs> Supposed to be like a tumbleweed. Oh, the chips! Follow the chips! <laughs> it's like breadcrumbs. Rematch, motherfucker! See on top of the truck. He's so small he could be anywhere. Yeah! I was right. You gotta make sure his hits count, because they they pack a punch, but he's quicker. And again, part of me still feel like he's gonna end up joining the team somehow, but I, I don't just know. Don't know why he would though. Yeah. That's the problem. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <Just> feel like <laughs> <laughs> Only because he was in the little intro, that's yeah. why. Like I said though, the dad was dancing in the intro too. Yeah, that's true. A weird bullishy body. Personal insults? Real mature shrimp. <laughs> it's okay, it's probably from steroids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have no idea. Butterflies. They're not what you think. They Ooh, what is that supposed to mean? Oh no! If it was like the Oh my gosh, there's some secrets being kept. Are we on the butterfly side? Oh shit, it wasn't her. Unless. Unless. That'd be some wild shit. Conspiracy. Conspiracy. Who's gonna win that fight? What? I don't know. He was about to say, yeah. and she works for the mom. Fucked it all up. Oh geez, you're welcome. He's about to I'm spill some breathe. beans. Fuck! For never having shot at someone, you like landed it right there. Oh, you still have it. Oh. Oh, what? Oh. oh! These martial artists, they are hardcore. <laughs> Their heart stops beating, they just concentrate and move a kidney up into a place. <laughs> and the kidney circulates the blood through the system. Oh, <laughs> this not something that happens. Only the greats, just a few times. <laughs> Only in the movies. <laughs> one or two times, it is. No one has ever replaced their own heart with a kidney. We have to get him back inside. How is he alive? Hey, is he super? He has to be some sort of super. -y. Butterflies, not what you think. They're. Mm. Mm, I don't know. I that don't know. was too convenient. Yeah. 
Like, they're not, like, what is that supposed to mean? Like, what you would normally think would be like, okay, this was like where mm -hmm. she messed up last time where she didn't yeah. kill that guy. But it could be a misdirection too. Yeah. Which I'm such a um, skeptical mind that mm -hmm. I'm always going to that. <laughs> Watch him literally just like come in and kill his dad. I just don't feel I don't like know, it would be that they easy. They teased the suit, though. or maybe it was just to, like show like what he was mm -hmm. at one point. Which his suit I didn't like. Oh, he kept it. No, what are you doing? Cause I was gonna say, he said that like he shot it off screen. So he has food for it. Is this gonna be like his pet? I like honestly don't care about the dad in the slightest. Like his yeah. character could die off or whatever. Like I literally don't <gasps> Oh no, oh, Eagly! Eagly! Oh my gosh! Don't take over He Eagly's doesn't bike. like it, he doesn't like it. Gosh, what if she's a freaking butterfly? This time you didn't balk, huh? Do you think he's gonna die? Just a really good actress, Butterfly. Mm -hmm. I'm not cut out for this shit. The first time I killed someone, I didn't have my period for three months. And then oh, it gets easier? That? No, not really. Mm, from stress, I guess. Mm. But it's good it hurts. It's kind of Otherwise you become so. like Amanda Waller and you start treating human life like it's nothing. <laughs> I manipulated. Vigilante into going into prison and killing Peacemaker's father, and now this. Back up, what? Yeah. Every time I turn around, one of you is doing something fucked up. <laughs> I thought Waller gave me soldiers. Is that is a fucking apple dumpling gang? <laughs> Classic bull. Hey, who are the apple dumpling gang? Incompetent dinguses. But they always triumph in the end. I never even heard of that. Yeah. You told Vigilante to kill Peacemaker's father? I didn't tell him to, I just planted the seed. <laughs> I was just trying to make the hard choice. Seeing as we're already losing Peacemaker's trust, how's he gonna feel when he finds out we manipulated his best friend? <laughs> Actually, that'd be Eagly. What? Nothing, <laughs> it's just he claims that Eagly that that's his best friend. I'm just making sure we're all on the same page in case someone here thinks that Adebayo convinced Eagly to kill Peacemaker's <laughs> father. Maybe hardcore. Fuck you. <laughs> Why is everybody fucking you to me? I mean, she <laughs> mentally manipulated the pet eagle into killing his father. You're gullible. I call in sick all the time and I'm lying. <laughs> he could kill Vigilante and without Vigilante, we're taking on the butterflies one man down. Half a man down. The guy's a psychopath. <laughs> This is the four of us against the damn alien invasion. We need a psychopath. Why wouldn't they give them more people on this team? Yeah. You know? Like, Can you get Vigilante out of the system before he screws there's up? There's other heroes in this screwed? universe. Getting him out of the system is one thing, but how are you going to get him out of the jail? Found him. Adrian Chase, the Vigilante. That's him. Wasn't he our bus boy at... Yeah, so we were right. Okay, it was. I feel like Vigilante's going to get... Oh my gosh, he's going to get fucked up. Hey, What's up, fellas? Maybe he'll be like, good. I know, but like he's actually, you know, yeah. like I said, a trained killer. And he has people that could work for him right now. Which one of you dumb sister fucking tiki torch carrying sloth from the Goonies looking pieces of shit? Sloth! Do next? Hello, guys. <laughs> your favorite contribution to black American culture was all the black guys who fucked your mom in the ass while you watched from the closet jerking off. <laughs> oh! I mean, I feel like he could handle the other up guys, the dad, though. Yeah. On the ground now! Both of you! The area started it. This dude did nothing. You're a bad dad. No. Uh, oh, oh now he's. Detective. Oh, God. Idiot. What? What's it say in my file about what my dad did when I was a kid? What? Adebayo just said there was some stuff in there. Does he, like, not remember? Hmm. Maybe he repressed it? Or does he just, like, embarrass that everybody knows? Maybe. He can go either way at this point. Fine. It says that he trained you to kill from when you were very young. And it says that your brother died under mysterious circumstances. And that you were involved in that. Oh. Oh, no. Thanks. That's it. I wonder if no, he, like... No, your tits look stellar in that shirt. <laughs> I'm saying that as a compliment. That's not in a sexist That's way. how he, like... He uses that 
like stuff like that, like almost inappropriate remarks to like hide his true feelings. Mm -hmm. Cause he just did that just so he could like not talk about, you know. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get into his psyche. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder if he accidentally killed his brother. Like the mm -hmm. dad pushed them too hard. Oh, he, he probably the, treated him like shit because oh, your brother's so yeah, good. He, like, You're loved so his shit. Brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like that. Does it even want that? <laughs> Animal cruelty. Does it know how to do that? Can it? <laughs> it just like fell up against the glass. Don't look. It's lethal weapon. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? What is that? <laughs> We haven't shown Casey Lethal Weapon yet. <laughs> I was gonna say something stupid. I was gonna be like, is that Seinfeld? <laughs> Mostly because I just like imagine everybody watches Seinfeld for some reason. I don't know. I think it might have made things worse. A lot of people like in this operation are kind of dense. <laughs> My voice cracked when I said that, but like a lot of people are, like are smart in some regards, but they make stupid ass decisions other yeah. times. They have like little intricacies <laughs> about quirks. Like what? vigilantes. Oh. oh! What? what made him do? Like he made him do this as a kid. Damn. Oh my gosh. I freaking hate the dad. Like with the. Oh, he's remembering when oh. he stabbed him. What a joke. It's cool they tied that back. He just has a lot of childhood stuff. Yeah. And he never really had any, like I said, <laughs> he never had anybody to show him like real proper relationships. Let's see. What actually happened? Oh my gosh! Is he having a seizure from... But like, what caused it? And like, how is he responsible? I feel like we're gonna get more pieces of that story later. Oh my gosh, what like a heartbreaking sequence of events. Okay, so this tying back to this company. Oh, he was looking so like blank stared. I was like, he's infected. <laughs> Leora. I think I found something. Great. I'll be right over. He's a freaking he's butterfly. He's one. <gasps> he's a fucking butterfly, you he's fucking butterfly. butterfly. I knew it was one of them. Uh, no, you know what? He doesn't have emotions. Yeah. And he watches TV with such a straight face. Yeah. Not that that means anything, mm -hmm. but <laughs> it applied. No reactions. Never yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's us just talking through everything. I know. Even when we watch TV. I like TV, to think we're more commentary. Like, by ourselves, we still talk through everything. We're like, we think this is going to happen. It, it'll be shit yeah. that we had already seen. We were rewatching uh, like, oh Once Upon a Time oh in gosh. Hollywood Remember yesterday. Remember when he did this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were, like, talking the whole friggin' time. <laughs> Butter free. Mm -hmm. That totally explains a lot. Mm -hmm. So then now I'm gonna be trying to pay attention to how he's trying to like sabotage. sabotage. Yeah. And then I'm like, was he always, or did it just happen? Yeah. Like, you know, did it happen recently? How would they do the mask with the beak? And how would he even talk? How would the mouth work? That's the stupidest idea you've ever fucking had, and it's offensive to me because I have a soul, not a duck. These end scenes are kind of mid. I like did it. My face didn't move. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> like I, I think I slightly smirked when he said like something about a soul. That's, that's, that's like a try not to laugh challenge. That wasn't funny. Yeah, um, I like the episode though. A lot. Yeah, the episode was really good. Um, I forgot his name, but like the the leader of this group. Uh, yeah, I guess he could have caught on to it. I think it was the episode prior when he was talking to John about yeah. like, uh, oh, I didn't express I my feelings and stuff like that. Whatever. But initially. When uh, Waller's daughter uh, shot Kung Judo, Judo called, Master, Judo Master, I was gonna call him Cobra Kai. Judo Master. Yeah. When she shot him, and it wasn't revealed that it was her yet, my first initial thought that if it yeah. was him, then I thought, okay, maybe he is a butterfly and he's trying to keep a secret. Either way, Judo Master's got some information that I feel like is gonna be very useful. Um, obviously, he's not dead yet, um, so. 
let's see, is he going to be able to share that information with us prior to maybe like the, the leader taking him out? I really don't know what he's doing right now. You said you're going to be keeping an eye out for any little mm -hmm. sabotage he may or may not do. The moment with Peacemaker, you know, like having his moment in his uh, house and then obviously with his brother too, yeah. that was really sad. And yeah. now I understand like why, because kind of at first I was kind of like, okay, the dad's storyline, I'm kind of like, blah, like I'm done with it. But I see why we're going with it is because like obviously that ties in a lot. To why he was. Was, why, the way he was, yeah, yeah, and then also like something with the brother. Now it wasn't just he had a horrible father just with himself. Like something else happened there. Yeah, um, but Which I feel like we're gonna come back to because that was yeah. not a complete oh, story. Yeah. But like on top of that, I literally don't care about the dad. Yeah, no, no, fuck the guy. <laughs> <laughs> but also like vigilante going in there to take him out was such a stupid decision. I met, I mentioned oh, yeah. it in this episode, but like so many people have made so many stupid decisions. But um, it's interesting that you know that the leader guy, he is like having to ring them all in while you would think probably trying to like not have them complete missions unless he's a butterfly that like flipped on the other butterflies and maybe they know that well and the judo boy said <laughs> judo boy. <laughs> <laughs> he was like the butterflies are not what they seem yeah like what does that mean could there be butterflies that like want to do different things and it could be a situation like that where we have other ones that are like I don't know, maybe working towards world domination, and then we have some that might be trying to oppose that. And I feel like Amanda Waller somehow, some way is involved because, like, she's having her daughter, like, yeah. kind of be a part of it, which makes me wonder if the daughter knows more or something. I have no idea. Part of me also feels like maybe the butterflies were some failed government thing yeah. and they're trying to cover it up again because that was what they did in like with Starmie yeah. so I mean I don't know that would be like they would do that the second time but like also wouldn't be like if it were to happen I wouldn't be surprised mm -hmm. but I don't know if they would go there again yeah uh, as of right now I feel like I said this in the last episode that we were going to find out this episode more about like the butterflies like I guess goals and motivations um it still was kind of like, you know, kick the can down the road because he did tell him like, oh, we'll come back tonight and we'll tell you everything. And then all these, obviously the whole situation with like the father started kind of unraveling and whatnot. But now that everyone's on the same page and we kind of like have this connection with this company versus also that card that mm -hmm. like where she worked, um, the girl that he hooked up with, the first butterfly that we were introduced to, um, I like what is was it a food company? It said like bottling. So mm. I don't know. Are they trying to put the eggs in everybody's food and stuff like that so that they it's either that or the food that they're eating. Because they're eating like some sort of weird... Like or sap or whatever. But I don't feel like it's got to be a stronger Space motivation honey. than that. Like, I just don't feel like it's about to, like, you know, ship out their it's food. Like, mm, delicious. I yeah. feel like it's eggs. I feel like they're putting eggs in the food so that they could, like, ha inhabit everyone's body so that yeah. everyone could be a butterfly. <laughs> and also, we have the butterfly, that like, from the, yeah. the senator. We need to make it talk. Yeah, I feel like it's going to have to be in somebody, though. Torture it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't really work out too well the last time. But, I mean, I don't think there's a way for it to communicate yeah. unless it inhabits, inhabits somebody's body. So we'll see what ends up happening. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.